Young Chop is one of the most influential producers of modern day hip hop. The 26 year old super producer from Chicago, Illinois is known for shaping the Chicago drill sound with songs such as I Don't Like and Love Sosa by Chief Keef, which have hundreds of millions of streams online at the time of this recording. But not only is Young Chop an incredible producer, he's even a talented artist as well, with songs of his own getting millions of views online. Chop was also known as the guy who stayed on the straight and narrow path, even though he grew up and was close friends with some of the most notorious gangster rappers on the planet. But as of recently, Young Chop has been getting into confrontations online with rappers such as Meek Mill, 21 Savage, and French Montana, which is not like Young Chop at all. These situations ultimately led to Young Chop getting arrested, and he's currently behind bars during the making of this video. Curious on what else led to Young Chop being behind bars? Well, then we got you covered. Here is an exclusive inside look at the criminal history of Young Chop. Young Chop's first arrest occurred earlier this year on February 26, 2020. The details of this arrest are very scarce, but according to the Gwinnett Daily Post, Chop was arrested for allegedly starving a dog to death. It's unknown whether or not the dog was his or a friend's dog he was just watching, but the innocent dog died while in Chop's custody, which led to him being charged with aggravated cruelty to animals. Chop was quickly released from jail and ended up getting put on probation for these charges. Young Chop's second arrest took place on April 7th, 2020. It all began when Chop got into a little online beef with 21 Savage. This resulted in Chop getting into an Uber to go to 21 Savage's hood in hopes to find him. 21 obviously wasn't there, so Chop proceeded to get back into the Uber and return home. But as he was doing this, someone fired shots into the car. Luckily, no one was hit and the Uber driver continued driving after Young Chop told him he would pay for the damages done to his car. This must have left Young Chop extremely paranoid because later that night, he released security camera footage of him shooting at a car that was parked in front of his house. This footage went extremely viral, but was also very concerning. The next day, it was revealed that Young Chop was arrested for reckless conduct, driving without a valid license, and expired tag slash registration. It's unknown if the reckless conduct charge was for him going out looking for trouble in 21 Savage's hood, or for shooting at the car in front of his house, but reports make it seem like it was for the 21 Savage situation. Chop was ultimately released later that same day. Young Chop's third and latest arrest took place just a few days later on April 16th, 2020. There are unfortunately little to no details on this arrest once again, but according to the Gwinnett Daily Post, Chop was arrested at around 3.30 p.m. for a probation violation. At first, I assumed it was for the reckless conduct arrest he had on the 7th after going out and looking for 21 Savage, but you would think that they would have just kept him in custody right then and there instead of releasing him the same day, since getting arrested is almost always a probation violation. Regardless, Young Chop is currently still behind bars and it's unknown when he'll get out. Well, there you have it. The entire criminal history of Young Chop in one single YouTube video. I know this video was short, but I still hope you guys all enjoyed it regardless. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you want more criminal history videos just like this one, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and feel free to click on the notification bell as well to be notified when we upload. Also, comment down below any suggestions on who we should make a criminal history video on next. That's all we have for today's video. I'm out.